in the Bayfield, I took six months off, stacked up a bunch of money and took like a little sabbatical and went cruising for six months with these receiver. That's a whole story unto itself. <laughs> the whole trip, you know, why I even wanted to take that trip. Part of it was sort of I lived in LA, chasing careers that were requiring me to live in places I hated. So it was sort of like, you know, rediscover America type trip. And I also noticed that, you know, if, you know, you take a week vacation, and maybe you actually go somewhere, you know, camping in the mountains, or, oh, I took a trip to Cancun or something, you know, and stayed at this beach resort. Yeah. And first couple days, you know, you get off the plane, you get a cocktail, you're trying to get in vacation mode. The first couple days, you're just unwinding from your yearly grind of life. Yeah. And the last day or two of vacation, you're just starting to get, like, in the groove and all of a sudden you go oh man i gotta fly back out tomorrow or in two days it's over and i i just felt like i was never able to really get where i could get my head just clear and free with just a week or even two yeah so you know i need to take a chunk of time wow really reevaluate what i want what i want out of life and just you know, a week a week off or a two-week vacation or getaway just it, it ain't cutting it wow um and it's interesting, I kept a journal of private thoughts yep. <laughs> on, my, uh, on my trip. I knew that I would forget a lot of these things and a lot of these lessons that I had learned. So I, well, I better write them down. And it's funny to read the journal and you can see, even like the first 30 days, just the writing style. And all of a sudden there's like, it's almost like a switch. You could just see it just totally change and, and just uh, much, much nicer to read, much more flowing, much more eloquent really starting to have more interesting things to say. It took about 30 days where your head started to get in a different place and all of a sudden, like I was going on and on about some dragonfly that landed on my lifeline wire and rode there for like a half hour, you know, in the hot sun. At the beginning of the journal, it's, it was all like, oh, you know, uh, um, had a rough, you know, crossing of the album Marl today, you know, it was all, you know, yeah. just sort of like you're reading it going, and you think when you're writing it's pretty cool and you're reading it later going, it's crap. Then all of a sudden you have that aha moment and all of a sudden now every page becomes this like lucid, entertaining, freeform coolness that just wasn't there before. And I didn't see it until a year later, you know, rereading the journal. And so of course by the end of the six months I was like, okay, I got, I know what I want to do now. And then I was just like, all right, I gotta get back and start my new, start implementing my new plan. You found and yourself. And that was part of like, I'm gonna, find a new place to live. So I was kind of looking for that on the way and found Oriental. 